OC, I think that's how you pronounce it. OC sent me out their uh, OC G7 monitor and I'm freaking hooked. So they are not controlling, man, I got a big old knocker right here. So they are not controlling what uh, I am saying in this video. So don't stress, don't fret, whatever. Going seven inches really uh, made life difficult. <laughs> I've always been used to having five inch monitors, but when I got into like anamorphic lenses, uh, five inch monitors are impossible to use with anamorphic lenses. You're pretty much getting an image that's about like, like yay big in real life. Uh, it's impossible to focus or do any of that. So I started looking at seven inch monitors. Now my first introduction one ended up being true with the whole, uh, you get what you pay for. Every time I would go to adjust that monitor, uh, you could see the body just like, bending and you hear little creaks and everything i was terrified to use that monitor on any gig because i was like any day now this thing's gonna break on me with this ocg7 it's super robust like i don't feel the need to get a cage for this at all but let's just go back real quick so i was using five inch monitor which was fine if you're shooting spherical usually as soon as i started using like softer vintage lenses or any anamorphic lenses, it gets a lot harder to focus just because your focus peaking is having to do a harder job to see what's in focus, basically. Uh, so when you get a seven inch monitor, it kind of just opens up your world. It's really, 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 really hard to go back to a five inch monitor now. I don't think I could do it unless I'm using it for like a director's kit or something like that. But even trying to like to zoom in and focus and everything, it was just impossible. So having a seven inch monitor now has just really made life a lot easier. And now even with spherical lenses, if I try to go back and forth between a five and seven inch monitor, it's, it's impossible. Now, since this is seven inches, you would think that maybe it's heavy. It's actually not compared to other like five inch monitors. This one actually feels like similar weight or possibly even lighter. Uh, I have not weighed them, so I'm not sure, but you don't have to stress there on if it's going to be super heavy or not. The inner skeleton on this monitor is actually metal and the mounting points is metal itself. Some of the other monitors I've had, they're not super sharp and the color's off. And so they would come out with like things to like calibrate color and do all this and it always just looked kind of off. But this guy, the color actually is actually really good to the point to where I can put a super graded power grade that I have and turn it into a LUT and put it on here. And it pretty much looks exactly like my calibrated monitor, which is pretty uh, amazing. Cause now I can actually film with what my final grade's gonna be similar to. I am going blind. I am supposed to be wearing, I should probably put these on actually. Um, I do wear prescription glasses, even if you guys see me outside and I have these tinted ones on. Having the tint actually helps though when you're going inside and outside. Uh, you just keep your glasses on all day pretty much and so that's the reason I have those tinted ones. Point is, uh, I don't have the greatest vision and so not only is this a 7 inch monitor but also it's pretty freaking sharp. Uh, and so when I'm using my anamorphic lens, this thing's way easier to focus. I actually have the Komodo's internal peaking on and then on the monitor, I have it's colored uh, peaking on and I have that on red. So basically the Komodo's making whatever's in focus extra sharp and then the monitor's picking up and putting color on that. And so this monitor and this setup the focus peaking on it, uh, it just makes my life way easier. My homie Christian and I, we just did this one shoot and he was rocking the gimbal and not to bag on Chris, but I've seen him use a gimbal before and uh, his focusing was always kind of rubbish, but that's because he was on a five inch monitor with anamorphic. So on that last thing that we just shot, he got it in focus on the first try, but then we did a second take because I kind of changed the framing up on him a little bit and it just made life way easier. So that just showed me that I was doubting him, but it wasn't him, it was the five inch monitor. One thing that I was kind of uh, worried about when getting this is that it's not touchscreen. Actually, usually when I'm filming, like my hands are very dirty. I'm like running around and I'm climbing over things and messing with different gear and everything. And so touching the monitor will always put marks all over it. And so there would be certain points where I'm outside trying to film and there's just sunlight being blasted on the monitor and you can see all the finger marks coming up and it's very distracting. This not being a touchscreen, I actually prefer it, which I'm kind of shocked that I end up preferring it. But they have an awesome workaround where you just use pages if you have a bunch of specific settings that you usually like doing you can just set up custom pages and swipe through them but i actually don't use that because this is pretty much similar to a touch screen with how quick the menu is to go through so anytime i have to change anything i just click over left real quick and i can start going through all my settings uh it's honestly not that big of a deal this is 3000 nits it's once again like one of those eye-opening things it's something that you didn't think you need but 
uh, ended up being insanely useful. I actually haven't even needed to turn it up all the way, even when being out in Palm Springs and the desert and everything. I think the highest we turned this up to was eight and it goes all the way up to 10. Again, when you're working with reflections and everything, that's just another thing that really helps is just being able to blast out that light. But it, that doesn't matter if your screen's super reflective. That's another issue I had with previous monitors. The, the glare on it would be too insane. The cool thing with it is it comes with this whole kit. So so this is the case. Uh, mine's already a little bit beat up, but uh, and it's a dual locking too. They actually give you a, a wall adapter so you can plug the monitor straight into the wall if you're doing any studio work or anything like that. They give you a magic arm in here, and then they also give you a D-tap cable if you want to power it that way as well. But the, one of the favorite things that came in this kit uh, let me, it's in my bag. Let me get it out. This sun hood. I don't have to deal with any Velcro and getting stuff stuck all over it. I always get sand all over my stuff. This monitor is easily bright enough to where you don't need this. The reason I like using this though, is sometimes when you're out in the desert uh, and you're around sand or anything like that, there's a lot of reflection. Like your monitor's just being blasted from every every direction. And so this really just kind of helps kill the ambience. And so you can really pay attention. Pretty much all the worries I had about it uh, kind of just all went out the window, honestly. I thought not having a touchscreen would be an issue. Not an issue at all. It's actually pretty easy to go through the menus. The build quality on it, they did a, a perfect balance between keeping it light while also keeping it very robust with my other monitor. I was scared to even put it in my bag. And also, if you're just curious about upsizing from a five inch to seven inch monitor, do it. It's really just gonna make your job easier for you. There guys, that's pretty much it. So again, if you're just debating between this monitor other monitors and you're having doubts about it either because of the touch screen or if you're wondering if it's sharp or not trust me it's a super good monitor again they're not telling me what to say i'm allowed to say whatever i want in this review so pretty much it it's a monitor seven inches super dope peace